Top 10 Most Venomous Snakes in the World 10. Tiger Snake Tiger snakes, Nauticus scutatus, are a profoundly venomous snake animal groups found in the southern districts of Australia and Mount Isa Queensland, including its waterfront islands, like Tasmania. These snakes are regularly joined like a tiger, an exceptionally factor in their shading and structures in their provincial events. Tiger snakes accounted for 17% of identified snake bite victims in Australia between 2005 and 2015, with four deaths recorded from 119 confirmed envenomations. Tiger snake toxins have powerful neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolysins, and mycotoxins. Indications of a nibble remember restricted torment for the foot and neck area, shivering, deadness, and perspiring, trailed by a genuinely fast beginning of breathing challenges and loss of motion. In an investigation, the death rate from untreated nibbles is accounted for to be somewhere in the range of 40 and 60 percent. 9. Saw-Scaled Viper the saw-scaled viper is a variety of venomous vipers found in the dry areas of Africa, Middle East, India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan. They have a trademark danger show, scouring segments of their body together to deliver a sizzling cautioning sound. Saw-scaled vipers are generally little snakes, the biggest species as a rule under 90 cm long, and the littlest being around 30 cm. This species comprises for the most part of four kinds of poisons, neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, hematoxins, and cytotoxins. The variety is perceived as therapeutically huge in numerous tropical country regions. They are broad and live in regions lacking present-day clinical offices. Most casualties are chomped into the evening when these snakes are dynamic. The majority of these species have toxin that contains factors that can cause a utilization coagulopathy and defibrination, which may continue for quite a long time to weeks. This may bring about draining any place in the body, including the chance of an intracranial discharge. The last traditionally happens a couple of days following the chomp. In fact, many scientists believe it to be responsible for more human deaths than all other snake species combined, making this snake one of the most dangerous animals in the world for humans. 8. Boomslang The boomslang is a huge venomous snake found in Africa. Its name signifies tree snake in Dutch and Afrikaans. Boomslangs eat little creatures like chameleons, frogs, and birds, however they additionally eat eggs. Like all snakes, boomslangs don't bite, they gulp down everything. The toxic substance of boomslangs can disturb the coagulating of blood, and this can kill somebody. After a chomp, one can in some cases feel a cerebral pain, sickness and drowsiness. This doesn't occur frequently, as boomslangs possibly chomp people when they feel assaulted. This snake can cause somebody to drain from every one of the openings in their body including their hair pores. Its eyes are enormous in segment of its head, they have binocular vision as they like to chase chameleons just as birds, and this binocular vision will assist with recognizing their prey very easy. Its logical name is Dyspolitistopus. A boomslang is a thin snake with enormous eyes on a huge obtuse head that is particular from the neck. The snake can develop to up to 2 meters in length, yet is on normal around 1 to 1.6 meters long. 7. Banded crate. The banded crate is an exceptionally venomous relative of the cobra, found across the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Arriving at lengths of more than 2 meters this crate is handily distinguished by its radiant yellow and dark crossbands and the stamped vertebral edge. It's a bashful, nighttime snake that doesn't make a special effort to chomp individuals, however when nibbles do happen their toxin can cause respiratory disappointment and possibly suffocation. The death rate for untreated chomps is believed to be around 10%. 6. Barba Amarilla Spanish for yellow beard these Central and South American snakes, are recognized by their straightened heads, which are separate from the remainder of their bodies. Growing up to 1.8 meters long, females are the thicker and more of the species, with bigger heads and greater teeth. Barba Amarillas are fractious and quick, and have gained notoriety for being unusual. Their toxin is necrotizing, amazingly difficult, and frequently destructive. Consolidate this with a capacity to project just about 2 meters and to nibble with its head high over the ground, and it's not difficult to perceive any reason why the Barba Amarilla is one of the deadliest venomous snakes. 5. Black Mamba The Black Mamba, Dendroaspis polylepis, is a type of exceptionally venomous snake having a place with the family Elapidae. It is local to parts of Sub-Saharan Africa. First officially depicted by Albert Gunder in 1864, it is the second longest venomous snake after the king cobra, develop examples for the most part surpass 2 meters and usually develop to 3 meters. 
Examples of 4.3 to 4.5 meters have been accounted for. Its skin tone changes from dim to dim brown. Adolescent black mambas will in general be paler than grown-ups and obscure with age. The species is both earthbound, ground-living, and arboreal, tree-living, it possesses savanna, forest, rough slants and in certain areas, thick backwoods. It is diurnal and is known to go after birds and little vertebrates. Over reasonable surfaces, it can move at speeds up to 16 km per hour for brief distances. In a danger show, the black mamba normally opens its inky black mouth, spreads its restricted neck fold and now and then hisses. It is equipped for striking at significant reach and may convey a progression of nibbles in quick progression. Its toxin is essentially made out of neurotoxins that regularly instigate manifestations inside 10 minutes, and is oftentimes lethal except if neutralizer is regulated. Regardless of its anything but a considerable and profoundly forceful species, the black mamba assaults people just on the off chance that it is undermined or cornered. 4. King Cobra The King Cobra, a Phyophagus hanna, is an enormous elephant endemic to woodlands from India through Southeast Asia. It is the world's longest venomous snake. Grown-up ruler cobras are 3.18 to 4 meters long overall. The longest known individual estimated 5.85 meters. It is the sole individual from the sort of Iophagus. It preys primarily on different snakes and once in a while on some different vertebrates, like reptiles and rodents. It is an exceptionally venomous and risky snake when upset or incited that has a fearsome standing in its reach, despite the fact that it is normally modest and keeps away from conflict with people whenever the situation allows. The King Cobra is a conspicuous image in the folklore and society customs of India, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. It is the public reptile of India. It is compromised by natural surroundings obliteration and has been recorded as vulnerable on the Yukon Red List since 2010. 3. Coastal Taipan The coastal taipan is found in coastal districts of northern and eastern Australia, and the close-by island of New Guinea. It produces toxin that is practically indistinguishable from that of the inland taipan, viewed as the most venomous snake on the planet. The top of the coastal taipan is long and limited, like the black mamba, with a thin body hued from light olive to dark. When it detects its prey the snake freezes, then hurls itself forward making a few light meals. It then deliveries the prey and trusts that the toxin will produce results, prior to taking its feast. No doubt about it, this is one of the world's deadliest snakes. 2. Eastern Brown Snake The Eastern Brown Snake, Pseudonaja textilis, frequently alluded to as the normal earthy colored snake, is a types of exceptionally venomous snake in the family Elopidae. The species is local to eastern and focal Australia and southern New Guinea. It was first discovered by André Marie Constant du Merrill, Gabriel Bybron, and Auguste du Merrill in 1854. The grown-up eastern earthy colored snake is up to 7 feet long with a slim form. Its variable upper parts can be a few shades of brown, going from pale brown to practically dark, while its underside is pale cream yellow, regularly with orange or dim splotches. The eastern earthy colored snake is found in many natural surroundings aside from thick backwoods. It has gotten more normal in farmland and on the edges of metropolitan regions, profiting with agribusiness because of the expanded quantities of its principal prey, the presented house mouse. The species is oviparous. The snake is viewed as a least concern animal groups as indicated by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, however its status in New Guinea is indistinct. Considered the world's second most venomous land snake after the inland taipan, Oxyurinus microlepididus, in light of its esteem in mice, it is liable for about 60% of snake nibble passings in Australia. Its venom's primary impacts are on the circulatory framework, coagulopathy, discharge, dying, cardiovascular breakdown, and heart failure. One of the primary segments of the venom is the prothrombinous complex sutarin C. What separates prothrombin? 1. Inland Taipan In light of the middle deadly portion esteem in mice, the venom of the inland taipan is by a long shot the most harmful of any snake, considerably more so than even that of ocean snakes, and it has the most poisonous venom of any reptile when tried on human heart cell culture. The inland taipan is an expert tracker of vertebrates, so its venom is exceptionally adjusted to kill warm-blooded species. It is assessed that one chomp has sufficient lethality to kill no less than 100 completely developed people, it is a very quick and coordinated snake that can hit in a split second with outrageous precision, frequently striking on different occasions in a similar assault, and it envenomates in pretty much every case albeit very venomous and a proficient striker, as opposed to the somewhat protective waterfront taipan, the inland taipan is normally a significant bashful and isolated snake, with a tranquil attitude, and likes to escape from inconvenience. Be that as it may, 
it will protect itself and strike whenever incited, misused, or kept from getting away. Since it lives in such distant areas, the inland taipan rarely interacts with individuals, along these lines it's anything but thought to be the deadliest snake on the planet by and large, particularly as far as air and human passings each year. Savage from its elective name depicts its venom, not its personality.